Hi Scorpio, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, what are your person's current feelings for you? What are your person's current feelings for you? We're also going to be looking at what are your current feelings for them, okay? So I'm going to look at both sides and we're going to see the dynamic that's going on between you and them. Alright, let's get started. Just as a reminder, Scorpio, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it does resonate with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Let's see if I can get this angel in frame. Alright, Spirit, please show me what are this person's current feelings for Scorpio. So whoever it is that Scorpio is connecting to in love, what are their feelings for Scorpio? Scorpio first card we have for you is the Knight of Swords might be connecting with an air sign Gemini Aquarius or Libra the two of swords and the Empress might be connecting with a Libra or with a Taurus for some of you Okay, let's now see what are your current feelings for this person. Let's take a look. Just going to give it a little bit more of a shuffle. Spirit, what are Scorpio's feelings for this person? What are Scorpio's current feelings? We have here the Ten of Cups. We have the Magician. And we have the Eight of Wands. Alright, Scorpio. So I feel like you want to manifest happiness with someone here. Looking at your energy here. Ten of Cups. You want something that is happy and fulfilling and um, long-term and committed. There's some, there is someone here who you really care about and who you really want to have a future with. Um, and the Magician is a card about taking control and manifesting um, into reality um, your dreams and your desires. And the Eight of Wands is a card of communication. It can also be travel because this person is on a motorcycle here. They're traveling somewhere. So I feel like for some of you, you're going to travel to go see someone. Um, and you also might be reaching out to someone or communicating with someone here. And I almost feel like you've been, for some of you, it's like you've been stalling or procrastinating. It's like you've been holding back and there's just now this burst of energy here um, of you just bursting forward, you know, almost like you got triggered or something. Um, to take action. Okay. Now in terms of your person here. I definitely feel like with this Empress card. I feel like this person wants love in their life. And they're waiting for love to come into their life. Um, I feel like they are thinking about you here a lot with the Two of Swords. Um But they, I feel like they're very indecisive here. Um, and they are closed off here. You can see this person is... Um, they have their um, arms covering their chest here. And with the Knight of Swords, um, there is a little bit of an energy of... Someone might be angry or upset. I always see the Knight of Swords as someone who might be upset or angry. Um, 
and it's almost like they're they're ready to chop somebody's head off <laughs> with this with the sword that they're carrying here you see um, it's almost like they want to attack someone with that sword so this person might be holding a grudge against you i feel um and they are closing themselves off here with the two of swords But definitely with the Empress, I do almost feel like they are testing you. It's that type of energy of someone who's like testing someone to see if you're going to fight back, to see if you're going to show them any, um, if you're going to show them that you really care, um, that you're willing to, um, you know, to prove yourself to them. Um, I feel like this person wants you to prove yourself here. Because as of right now, I feel like this person has blocked you here. Um, from them. But I almost feel like with the way she's looking at her face, it's almost like... It almost feels like she could be convinced. Um, if you showed her that you really cared, it feels like they're waiting for you to to show them that you want to fight for this. Mm. Um, yeah, but let's clarify. Let's see if we can get a little bit more um, specific here, more clarification. Spirit, please clarify the Knight of Swords here. Knight of Swords, thank you. And we have the Six of Wands, okay. I feel like this person has a wounded ego, that's what's going on here, also. And somehow their ego has been wounded. You wounded their ego. Six of Wands is a card of someone who's very who has a high ego. Um, and that's why they're upset here. You might, they might feel like you deceived them in some way or you tricked them in some way. Um, and it, it, it wounded their ego. All right, let's clarify two of swords. We have here the ten of swords. Yeah, so they feel like it's over between you two. Um, and it's almost like they're shutting you out here. They're closing the door on you here. Um, because they feel like there's nothing left in this relationship. Um, they, feel, they feel hurt and, or they feel offended. Um, and they feel like they didn't, rece they didn't receive what they deserved. Alright, let's clarify the Empress. Yeah, Five of Swords. Yeah. Five of Swords is about someone who is feeling defeated, who's feeling, um, like I said, offended. Um, who's holding a grudge, you know? So definitely this is someone who, who's holding a grudge. They feel like you didn't um, treat them like the queen or the king that they are, you know? This is a woman, but it can be a male, so it, just take it in whatever gender resonates. But, um, you know, this is someone who sees themselves as a queen or as a king, and they feel like you didn't um, respect them in that way. They feel like you just left them or you just abandoned them here with the Five of Swords. Um, without explanation or uh, you ghosted them and yeah they're holding a grudge for whatever it might be there's some sort of conflict here that happened between you two okay let's quickly hear them um, clarify your energy scorpio here let's see what is this ten of cups about 
We need to clarify Ten of Cups. And we have the King of Pentacles. Clarify the Magician, please. We have the Page of Cups. Clarify the Eight of Wands, please. And we have the Strength card. Okay, let's take a look at your cards here. For some of you, you might be apologizing to this person with the Page of Cups. That's going to be for some of you. But the Page of Cups can just be, you know, you're, you're going to be expressing your love towards this person. You want to express your love towards this person. You want to communicate to them. Um, and again, I feel a little bit of an energy of, I'm sorry. King of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups. You want to do things the right way. You want to show someone respect. You want to you want to take this seriously. King of Pentacles is a serious energy. Um, you want to do the mature thing or the responsible thing. Um, and you are looking for happiness and um, the Ten of Cups is uh, happiness and long-term commitment here. Um, you do see a future with this person. Um, and with the Strength card here, you know, the Strength card can sometimes represent a, a, a struggle or a challenge. So... Maybe it's a challenge for you to reach out to this person because it's like you're breaking out of your comfort zone. You're breaking out of your routine in some way, um, which is King of Pentacles. They like routines. They like being part of routines. They tend not to um, take any risks. So you might be feeling like you're taking a risk here or like you're you know, you're, you're making yourself vulnerable, you're putting yourself out there. Um, and with the strength card, it's like it takes a lot of strength from, from you to, you know, to, to make such a bold move, right? Because this feels very bold. Um, so I feel like you're making a, a, you're taking bold action here. You're taking a risk, you're taking a chance. Or you want to, okay? All right, so that's what I see there, Scorpio. Let me know if this resonated. If it did resonate with you, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, Scorpio. Take care.